San Diego, California. Just a few miles from where I'm standing in Hillcrest to my left. Going on right now in Hillcrest is one of the largest, one of the largest LGBT gay pride events in the nation. 300,000 people are there at this moment celebrating the LGBT lifestyle. Following the parade, they'll take over much of Balboa Park for two days. They'll celebrate in the park the LGBT lifestyle. According to their, their website, the purpose of the parade and the website and their activities is to celebrate to celebrate and honor the LGBTQ plus community. It's to celebrate that, that life. And to give you an idea of the impact that the LGBT community has on our culture in San Diego, I want to list some of their sponsors listed on San Diego Pride website. See if you recognize any of these. Hewlett Packard, Qualcomm, Hyatt, Sony, U.S. Bank, Coca-Cola, Amazon, Kaiser, Blue Shield, SDG&E, Cox, Chase Bank, Google, Jack in the Box, Del Taco, McDonald's, Starbucks, and many others. Practically every major brand that you ponder supports this parade and this lifestyle. Their media sponsors, listen to this, Channel 5, Channel 8, Channel 10, KPBS, 91X, The Union Tribune, and many others. This positive message to celebrate the LGBT community is everywhere. It's ubiquitous. Very few are raising a flag and objection. There's something wrong. And the heart of what's wrong is this issue here. You put the LGBT with God, you're going to have anger. And the Bible says we're to fear God. As a matter of fact, I didn't make up that question. It was asked from one thief on the cross who was being crucified with Jesus to the other, mocking and ridiculing Jesus, do you not fear God? It's a question we need to ask ourselves to fear God. The Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. But all people that fear God, as a matter of fact, even the gospel message that Christian has, have, has got to do with fearing God. You look in the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 6. The angel is proclaiming the everlasting gospel throughout the heavens, around the earth. Fear God. Fear God and worship Him. That's where wisdom begins. The fear of God. And I believe in America there is no fear of God. That we're spiraling downward. We're walking in slippery places. Jonathan Edwards gave a sermon several hundred years ago, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God, and he quotes Deuteronomy 32, 35, America, you're walking in slippery places. And it's every bit as true today. And Edwards' sermon was to Christians. He said, you Christians, becoming lukewarm and you're going after other things besides God you have no fear of God you're spiraling down you're walking in slippery places and ladies and gentlemen not only is the modern day church accountable to discard this lukewarmness and to, to put on Christ to stand for truth, to stand for righteousness, and to care about the wicked. 
to care about the wickedness that's going around us. And I'd like to end by quoting 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. The Apostle Paul says, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, idolaters, adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor verbal abusers, swindlers, will inherit the kingdom of God. Don't be deceived. They won't inherit the kingdom of God. We need to understand, God says there will be no unrepentant adulterers, homosexuals, swindlers in heaven. But he does offer hope. He says, such were some of you. You used to be like this. Do you remember you used to live this lifestyle? Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, queer. You used to be like that, but you've been washed. You've been changed. You were outside the kingdom, and now through that repentance and faith in Christ, you're adopted into the family of God. You're part of that kingdom. You used to be there. So our challenge to San Diego, our challenge to our community, to the gay pride parade that's taking place right now, to repent and put your faith in Christ. Our challenge to America, to repent of our sins, turn away from this lifestyle, turn away from abortion, 50 million babies we've murdered since Roe versus Wade, turn away from that. Turn away from the same-sex marriage. You're polluting the creation of God that was created in His image. But we can be forgiven by faith in Christ. I hope you ponder these things and that there's nothing on here about hate. It does speak of God, to fear God. That should be our heartfelt motivation to come to Him. I fear Him for who He is, for what He can do, and for His kindness that He's extended to save my soul. I hope you ponder these things. May God grant you wisdom and understanding.